Hey, Jason. <laughs> hey, Andrew. How's it going? It's, it's going great. Are you free? Uh, sure. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So how has the first month been for you? <laughs> how has the first month been? Um, I will say this. I am very grateful for the fact that I had the you know, privilege of leading UWC Thailand because getting to know the UWC family, understanding the national committees, understanding sort of the backgrounds of where our students come from, already knowing that has been amazing so that I can really focus on what makes Pearson a little bit different within that context, getting to know the people and the faces and all the names. Um, so I'm very grateful that this is my second UWC. Uh, they're all different, but that fabric is really nice to already understand the complexity of what UWCs are all about. So first week, our first month has been, uh, I've been saying a lot of, it's almost like drinking from the fire hose. You get really wet. You're not sure how much goes in sometimes, but it's actually been really good. Um, it's, uh, it's been pretty fantastic to be here in this pretty special place. And how about moving your family and cats halfway around the world? <laughs> uh, our 201 boxes arrived from Malaysia a couple of days ago. So we've been busy, you know, trying to get to know everybody and be as engaged in, with our students and staff and faculty as we can. And then in the evenings, unpacking boxes and trying to figure out where everything is going to go. Uh, the cats have escaped multiple times, but this is a very animal friendly campus. Uh, during the day anyways, I don't want them out at night. You never know what's going to find them. But uh, there's lots of students around who love to visit with the cats uh, and our, my own two children who are 12 and 13 years old have had a great time getting to explore the campus by trying to find our cats. Um, my wife has done an amazing job as she usually does leading the way with trying to settle our family in our new house and uh, we're just about there. Nice. Have you put names and faces together for all the staff and 200 plus students yet? Absolutely. I have them all memorized, 100% of them. Uh, and for those that I don't know, I am very grateful for this Pearson tradition where we have our names and a little bit of detail about who we are. Um, it's a wonderful tradition going back a long way for faculty, staff, and students. So it's kind of nice to be able to, you know, not memorize everybody. I'm really joking about having everybody down, but it's been really good to kind of get to know everybody and use those, uh, use that traditional sort of name tag as a way to make sure we know who each other is. It's also really good that a lot of our students are just keeping them on for the first kind of week or two. You know, as much as I'm getting to know all 210 students, the students are getting to know each other as well. So it's a nice little reminder. Okay, big question. Okay. When will you do a bay jump? <laughs> so I, I spent 14 years in the Middle East between Dubai and Abu Dhabi. And then we moved to Southeast Asia where we were at UWC Thailand and another school in Malaysia. And uh, our family <laughs> is readapting to, to Canadian weather. So we're waiting for a very sunny day where my wife and children have both agreed to do the bay jump with me. So we're just waiting for the stars to align in that regard. But we can't wait too much longer because I don't think that the weather is going to get warmer between here and the rest of September. So soon is my answer. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, what's next for you on your agenda? Uh, continuing to get to know everybody. I think now I'm in that phase where now you're starting to be aware of the things that you didn't know. You know, when you are conscious or unconsciously unskilled, when you first arrive, there's a bit of a honeymoon period. But I think now we're into the parts of the of where we can start looking ahead at debriefing. How did we do orientation? How do we bring students in? How did we handle the arrival of new faculty and staff and start already thinking about the following year um, as we do trying to just learn from everything we do and make it a little bit better as we go. So we're kind of in that phase now. Um, as well as working with uh, our senior leaders who are just incredible. I mean, you have Arno and Angela and Ty and Anselm. And you have all these amazing people around it. And they're just in that phase now where they're trying to get me up to speed so we can start talking about what does the next few weeks look like, but also imagining what it looks like into the future as we continue to roll out the call to program using the IBCP as our platform, working on climate activists, uh, cl climate action, sorry, and uh, and just really kind of continue to evolve what we do here while preserving the things that makes Pearson special, the things that the alum and the staff and faculty have remained so tied to this place for for so long. So continuing to do the things that are amazing and traditional here, but also continuing to evolve into the 21st century, it's kind of where we're at right now. So no big deal, not much work to do at all. <laughs> awesome. Well, we appreciate it. And thank you so much for your time. Pleasure. Take care. We'll catch you later. All right.